We have a very special visitor that I want to take just a moment and introduce to you guys. His name is Mr. Sunil Radia. And, you know, we've always taught you guys that you can be both very creative and both analytical at the same time. Sunil is the perfect example of that. 2016, he moved to RGA where he's taken on the role of Global Chief Innovation Officer. Sunil, without further ado, I would love to give you the mic. Great. Thank you so much. So, you know, when I was thinking about this, I had to ask myself, can you imagine graduating into an economy that's crashing from going from a market that felt like we're moving into a new era of innovation and consumer experiences and media only to see it crash down just months before graduation, all while you sit holding a degree in an industry that may not recover? I mean, advertising? The advertising business was being turned upside down when I graduated and going along on that journey was something I embraced. Today, I have a job that didn't exist when I graduated. I run innovation at a company that knows something about resilience, RGA. And for those familiar with RGA, you're probably not surprised because of course, Nike's a famous client. You knew I'd end up there. But think about this, the company's my age. It started as a special effects studio when I was born. And now today we compete with management consultancies, tech consultancies, brand consultancies. We help huge clients do new things. They value the fact that we know a lot about technology, design, marketing, as they deal with change. And somehow, that's my job there. It turns out that all of those industries, they all got smashed together and no company could keep up alone. So, they found the people most ready to change and learn new things. The companies that get that talent, that the ones that embrace the change and then empower those people, they perform best, period. And those people they look to, the ones that embrace the change, well, many of them were the icons I looked up to. You see, the whole world changes, like, all the time. William Gibson very famously said, the future's already here, it's just not very evenly distributed. But when you consider that alongside Thomas Friedman's simple reminder about globalization, that the world is flat, you can see your map more clearly, even as it evolves right in front of you. Move to the parts where the change tickles your curiosity, even if it feels far away. Change is your opportunity. I'd encourage you to take the job that scares you most. Can't get a job? Take the time off. Learn about a new thing that's vaguely interesting. You can get a job, but it's not the one you want because of the economy. Let them pay you while you learn something new. Seriously, don't dabble. Die. You're the only one holding yourself back from embracing change. And you know, when I graduated, there was a consistent bit of advice we got. People would often tell us not to measure our success by other people's expectations. And honestly, it's great advice. And I needed it sometimes. But what I wish someone had said to me was not to measure my success by my own expectations. Because those expectations change. They change because the world changes. And if you're willing to work hard enough and take some risks, you'll find the two line up all the time. The intersection point may not be along that straight line you mapped out at first, but you know, you do that often enough and you realize something. When your hair goes gray like this, you'll know the following. There is no line. Change is permanent and inevitable. The pace of it, that's all that changes. And it's always in the same direction. So embrace it, even when the future is completely unknown.